Hello and welcome to Mica Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to start with inheritance, which is one of the OOPS concept. Inheritance is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of parent object. Or simply, we can say it is a mechanism in which one class acquires the data members and methods of another class. That is, it is a mechanism of creating a new class from an existing class. Inheritance represents the is a relationship which is often known as parent-child relationship. Let's suppose if we have employee class and then we create a new class programmer from it, then we can say that programmer is a employee. Extend keywords indicate that you are making a new class that derives from an existing class. That is to establish the relationship between the two class, we use extends keyword which shows the parent-child relationship in Java. The meaning of extends is to increase the functionality. A class which is inherited is called parent or super, super class and the new class is called child or subclass. Like in our example, we can say that employee is a super class and programmer is a subclass or child class. So we can say that class programmer extends employee. Inheritance in Java is used for method overriding so that runtime polymorphism can be achieved for code reusability. We will discuss these two uses in subsequent tutorials in detail. And the syntax of Java inheritance is we give class and then the class name which we are creating. We use extends keyword and then we specify the super class name. Like we can say class programmer extends employee. And then we'd give the body of the subclass. Now let us discuss the types of inheritance which are available in Java. The very first type of inheritance we are going to discuss is single inheritance. Single inheritance means simply there is one superclass and one subclass for it. Like here in our example, we can say class B extends class A. That is, class A is superclass and class B is the subclass. So, class B acquires the properties and behaviors of class A. Second type of inheritance which is supported by Java is multi-level. A multi-level inheritance is an inheritance where one subclass is derived from another subclass. Like here in this example, we can see that class C is derived from class B, which is the subclass of class A. So class C extends class B and class B extends class A. That is, class A is the superclass for class B. Similarly, class B is the superclass for class C. Third kind of inheritance which is supported in Java is hierarchical inheritance. Hierarchical inheritance means simply where for one superclass we can have multiple subclasses. Like in this example, class A is the superclass and then we have class B that extends class A and class C that extends class A. Now there is one more type of inheritance which is supported by some of the languages like C++ and that inheritance is multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance is, is inheritance in which one subclass derives from more than one superclass. Like in this example, class C extends class A as well as class B. This kind of inheritance is prohibited in Java. That is, multiple inheritance is not supported in Java through class. Only the first three, that is, single, multi level, and hierarchical inheritance, are supported in Java. In next tutorial, we will start with the example of single inheritance. Now, one important thing related to inheritance is a subclass acquires 
all the properties and methods of superclass except the private ones. Private data bus or private methods are never inherited, so they will not be accessible in the subclass. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe the channel if you have not yet subscribed it.